everyone, Jennifer here from My Purpley Life. Today is going to be my video number two of my Filofax video series. I am going to be doing a video every week sharing with you guys sort of like an introduction to Filofax personal organizers. So today's video I am going to be covering um, how to choose a Filofax. Um, I'm going to be going over the sizes, the different sizes that are out there, the variations between the ring sizes, um, the material, different materials that are used for these organizers, and why you may want an organizer that has a more firmer leather versus something that's a little bit more floppy, and um, a little bit of the internal layout of these organizers. Um, what's pockets are inside them, um, zippered pockets, credit card slots, pen loops as well. Um, so as you can see I have here is my full collection and you're probably wondering why do you have so many personal organizers? Um, I like to switch them out every um, maybe a few weeks or so um, just because I, I like that variety. Um, as you can see Filofax definitely has a lot of variety with their organizers, different colors, sizes, uh, materials, so that's why um, if you're kind of lost and you really want to get into Filofax, um, I'm going to share with you guys a little bit more in depth of all those different um, options that you have. Um, I have 18 in my collection in case you're wondering. Um, there might possibly be me more. Um, I don't have that one Filofax that I, I keep with me. Um, I do use four organizers at a time which I kind of went through um, in my first video so if you um, don't understand what this video is about, go ahead and check um, my first video. I'll post a link about it down below. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So there are six different mm -hmm. sizes that I'm going to talk to you about today. Um, and I'll, I'll t there are more out there, it's just they aren't really widely available, especially in the U.S., which I am I am in the U.S., so um, I'm going to go talk about the sizes that um, are more widely available, and that is the mini, the pocket, personal size, compact, slimline, and the A5. So those are the six si sizes that I'm going to talk to you guys about today. Um, and then let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I'm going to talk to you guys about is this super, super cute, teeny little um, purple Malden. This is the mini purple Malden. And um, I just love this range. Um, the the Maldens um, are the most... I guess widely um, has the most styles of organizers but um, as you can see I can pretty much cradle it in my hand here and I have really small hands so this is definitely really teeny tiny um, I'm going to share with you guys um, the size comparison with my iPhone 5 right here as you can see it's almost the same size as my iPhone Five, just a little bit wider there but the length is almost just about the same you can see it peeking out right there in the back but um, for guys out there who use personal organizers a mini is great to slip in your back pocket or for your girl as well um, this will not take up too much space in your handbag so this is definitely a great option to use as a wallet or maybe as um, just like a note some place to hold your notes or um, write down some small appointments not really carry it as um, your full on um, your life in here I don't think you could but um, maybe you can if you write really tiny but let me share with you guys the inside what the inserts look like there but if you have small writing maybe this will work for you but I would definitely um, use this to write some notes it does come with some dividers but here's the note paper so you can definitely just jot down something really quick that you need to remember um, what's great about the Malden range as you can see is it has this zippered pocket in the back and this is great if you're going to use this as a wallet you can definitely put your coins and things in here and then um, specific to this model the Malden has this back full length back pocket there like so so you can definitely put in some cash or some receipts in there 
Um, it has these five rings which are evenly spaced out. And the ring size for this one is um, 13 millimeters. So you can see how thick that is. That's about 13 millimeters you can hold in there. Um, there are some that are 11 millimeters. And this mini is the smallest of um, the range. So um, definitely very small. And let's say you wanted to go to the next size up. The next size up from the mini is the pocket size. So here is a pocket size gray Malden. It looks black, but it's definitely a dark, dark gray. And this now has six rings instead of the five. And they are evenly spaced. But since they are evenly spaced, you can definitely put the inserts of the mini into a pocket size if you were going to just go ahead and go and transfer up, um, which is great because if um, you have a lot of information in your mini and you don't necessarily want to write things over again, they will definitely, um, you can definitely put that mini size paper into a pocket size Filofax. Um, this one again has that zippered pocket here on the side to put in your coins and then it has that full length back pocket. The mini and the pocket have that um, full length pocket. Not all minis and pocket sizes have that full length back pocket so definitely make sure that when you are purchasing these organizers um, that you see if they have that option available. Um, Again, this is another great option for you to use as a wallet or to um, carry around with you um, with a diary and write some notes in it. Let me share with you guys in comparison to the mini size. And there it is right there. It's a little bit bigger. And let me share with you guys um, in comparison to my cell phone. And what I loved about the pocket size Malden is here in the back, it has this, what you call a notepad pocket. You can definitely put a notepad back here, slip the back right there, and then put in a notepad. Um, what I love to do is with my cell phone again, I'm going to take it, I'm just going to slip that there in the back pocket. And now you can carry your phone and your organizer with you right there. So that's very neat and handy when you're on the go. I loved doing that. Um, definitely if you have a more thicker phone case, um, that might not work. But if you definitely have a very thin case, um, I, I would definitely um, think that it would fit in that notepad pocket. Now let's say the pocket is a little bit too small for you and you want the next size up. The next size up is going to be your personal size organizer. And this one is the purple size Malden. And share with you guys that comparison with the pocket size. And it looks like that. So definitely um, a next size up bigger. And then compared to the mini, there it is right there. So it's definitely going to be a lot bigger. But still, it's um, still small enough that you can fit this in your um, handbag or carry it around with you. It's um, still very manageable. The reason why the personal size is so popular is because um, it has the most, um, the largest number of organizers available. Um, there's lots of different styles. There's a Malden. There's a Chameleon, Finsbury, lots of different styles in the personal size. Um, as well as refills and inserts, there's lots of different styles out there um, available to the personal size, which is great. So um, I would definitely recommend this size organizer if you are starting out, if you um, want to get into it and you don't know what size to choose, I would definitely just go with the personal size. Um, with the personal size, you can kind of guesstimate um, whether you would need a smaller organizer or a bigger one. Um, so I would definitely recommend this as starters. Um, you might 
not need so much writing space and maybe the personal size would be too heavy for you to carry around so the next size I would recommend would be the pocket or the mini but let's say you did want something more bigger then I would definitely go the next size up the um, personal size does have six rings let me open it up for you guys um, as you can see there are three rings here in the top and then there's a space here and then three rings here on the bottom another reason why the personal size is um, such a great option is that you can carry everything all in one organizer if you wanted to um, because just see how much space I don't have in there but you can definitely fill it up so that it's to its maximum capacity um, this one in particular is 23 millimeters but there are some ring sizes that are 25 millimeters and 30 millimeters so there are um, ring sizes that are bigger if you wanted to carry even more than this uh, what else the next size up I'm going to talk to you guys about is the um, compact and the slim line so let's say you like the personal size but you don't want to go to a pocket size you like the paper size of the personal let me share with you guys let me see here is the personal size paper there so you love all that space but you don't want to carry such um, big rings with you um, then I would definitely recommend the compact or the slim line it is going to be a little bit shorter than the personal size but that's why it's called the compact and slim line just because um, there are more um, man manageable to keep with you um, and they're not as heavy as well so the compact one I'm going to talk to you guys first has um, 15 millimeter rings this one has 15 millimeter rings this is the Holborn in brown and then what's great about this organizer is that it has so many pockets I love using compact sizes and slim lines as wallets um, just because I can carry um, the card slots and then see them all at a glance like so but also just because they have so many pockets here as well so many card slots pockets and it has this pocket here on the side that opens up where you can put in your cash and things but no zippered pocket for your coins so you might have to have something separate for your coins but if you don't carry too many coins with you then um, the compact is definitely going to be a great option for you um, the next size is the slimline and the characteristics about the slimline is it doesn't have that um, popper so it doesn't have that clasp like the all the other organizers do it just it's just open kind of like a notebook so um, the ring size here look how thin that is definitely slim which is why it's called a slimline this one in particular is 13 millimeters but there are um, some slimline organizers that are about 11 millimeters and even some that are 15 so almost just like a compact um, but they don't have that strap there for closure um, so this is definitely um, a great option for you if you like to carry something nice and slim and not too heavy and there's also a compact zip this is what I personally use as my wallet um, so everything kind of stays inside I don't have to worry about my money or my cards slipping out of there but I do use this zip one um, this one in particular is the purple zipped compact Malden um, there is also the compact zip penny bridge um, which is a pretty much a cheaper version of this one so um, if you don't want to have a leather organizer I don't want to spend the money on this one there's definitely the penny bridge which is a lot more affordable but it is um, made out of non leather material um, the next size up that I'm going to talk to you guys about is the A5 so you can see how much bigger this is in comparison with all the other sizes um, here it is up next to the personal size so this is a lot bigger and then here it is with the 
pocket size and then with the mini there. So definitely baby and daddy. <laughs> um, the A5 organizer, this one in particular, is 30 millimeters. The rings are 30 millimeters. <clears throat> there are some that are 20, which is a little bit thinner, and then 20, which a uh, 30, I'm sorry, which carries a lot more. And then there's the 25, which is like right in the middle. But just like the personal, it has. Let me sh let me see if I can find some blank ones. Um, those six rings, the three on the top and then the three on the bottom, like so. And look at all that writing space. Um, this is definitely great for journaling. I use this mainly as my journal and my home management binder. So um, this is definitely uh, if you write big or if you need a lot more space or you need to carry um, more information than an A5 would definitely be um, the next way to go. I personally think that the A5 is a little bit too heavy to carry around with you in your handbag, but um, definitely you can. Um, I would recommend this for um, businesses or for um, college students or even high school students if you wanted to. Um, great for school, basically, um, because you have to carry around such um, big amounts of information or things like that. So um, an A5 is definitely a nice size. There is another size called the A4, which is um, holds letter size letter size paper. So um, that's the next size up, but that isn't available in the US, but it is available in other countries. Um, but that would be the next size up from this. And also I think the des desk fax, um, I have no clue what that looks like, but I know it is very big. So if you needed something even bigger than this, there are sizes that are bigger than the A5. But that's pretty much what I have for you there. Um, let me share with you guys um, materials. Um, basically, the Malden range has this floppiness of the leather. Can you see how soft that is and bendable this leather is? It's a reason why you may want something that's very soft it's just texture wise, um, it feels better in your hand. It's um, If you need it to write on a um, hard surface such as a tabletop, then you might want something a little bit that has a little bit more flexibility so that it lays flat on the table. As you can see, this one lays very flat. It almost even goes backwards. But if you were to write, let's say you're standing up like I am right now and I, I wanted to write in here, it may feel a little bit too floppy and um, you don't have that stability for writing. So what you might want is something like this one right here. And this is the Finsbury. This is the purple personal Finsbury. Um, this model is discontinued, so um, if you are looking for this, you might not be able to find Well, this particular color, actually. The model is still available in different colors. But you can see this one right here is a little bit more stiffer. Look, it just wants to close, but it's a lot stiffer. But if you were holding it in your hand and you were to write, it does have that nice stability um, so that you could write okay and it wouldn't be like falling out of your hands or so but if I did put this on a tabletop um, and did a did apply a little bit of pressure it would lay flat just a little bit but um, as you can see if I were to go on a tabletop it this one would kind of be popping up a little bit so um, that kind of bothered me but if you do want a stiffer leather there are leathers that are out there that are a little bit more stiffer um, I think, let me see, this one here compared to a Malden, again the Malden range is very smooth, very flat. And then here is my compact plum Osterly. And just look how gorgeous that looks. Um, if you want sophistication, this is definitely going to scream hello. Um, don't mess with me. <laughs> but. Um, this is a nice crocodile pattern there. So you have that option as well. This one is again a little bit of a more stiffer leather. I'm not as 
floppy, but it's still soft enough that it lays flat. Look how flat that lays. And what I love also about compact organizers, can you see, you can barely see where the rings are. So the rings don't get in the way when you're writing. It's almost like a flat surface when you're writing, which is why I love using a compact as my everyday organizer. Let's see, there it is right there. But it's so soft, but it's still firm enough that um, if you were to write it in your hand, um, you would still have that um, stability. Um, if you wanted an organizer that's not leather um, or has half and half, um, this is actually like a half and half, but this is called the Fusion. This came out this year. Um, it has that leather material here and it has this um, polyester fabric there. So you get the best of both worlds with this organizer. I have done a review on it so if you want to look um, through my videos um, you can see the review on it there. But uh, this is a great compromise for you. Um, if you wanted totally like non-leather then you would go for um, something very um, affordable like the um, cover story flamingo this one also came out this year um, I have done a review as well of this organizer if you want to know more in depth about um, this organizer but this one has that canvas material here on the outside and these um, non leather organizers have beautiful patterns this one in particular is the flamingo as you can see there I have another one here that is the songbird this is the purple songbird and Again, it has that nice canvas material, but you can see the closure here is this elastic, very different from the other closures of the other organizers. This one is the original, and this is in the patent purple, so it's a little bit shiny and reflective, but again, this is a very um, stiff organizer doesn't really lay too flat but if I were to put some inserts in here and put this on a tabletop do you see how flat that would lay um, very nice but um, as you can see on the inside it doesn't have too many pockets there so if you have a lot of cards need a lot of card slots then this may not be good for you although it looks very beautiful on the outside um, Again, it has that sort of elastic material there that um, is not particularly too good if you carry a lot of cards. What's great about this um, elastic here is, again, I'm going to take my cell phone and I'm just going to slip that here into this pocket here. So if you wanted to carry your cell phone with you with this particular model, you can definitely do that. So um, that's another great option for you. And then some of the most of these um, non-leather organizers have an elastic pen loop. As you can see here, this one is totally elasticized. So that one has a fully elasticized. The let me see, Holborn has a half elasticized and half leather pen loop. So if you wanted to. Um, carry around a bigger pen you could definitely do that with um, organizers that have that option and then you have the Malden which is a full leather pen loop so that's another um, thing that you might need to consider if you carry around maybe a multi pen or um, a thicker barreled pen maybe like a fountain pen then maybe it will not fit into those pen loops um, let me see if I have you can definitely do something like I have done here, is get um, one of these um, pen loops, these um, adhesive pen loops, and stick them onto a fly leaf, not necessarily onto the organizer. You can you can if you wanted to, but I don't want to leather um, ruin the leather, so I've attached it on a pen loop, and then you can definitely attach your pen that way if you um, wanted to. So that's another option for you as well. Um, I hope this video has um, sort of given you more information about the how to choose a Filofax organizer. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Um, I'll be glad to answer um, any of your questions. Um, I will be posting um, the sizes 
for you on my blog so be sure to check out the link down below for um, a blog post um, regarding how to choose um, the sizes of the Filofax organizers. Um, I'll, I'll be posting that for you guys there. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my video number three which um, I'll be talking about the um, inserts and refills that are out there for your Filofax organizer and um, some of the compatibility between some other brands that you may want to use with Filofax as well. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.